Yeah. This is, doing this by yourself, not advised. So I might have bit a little too much off. Oh yeah, things are not going very well right now. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. He's off on an adventure. So, it's actually beautiful out. I hear a crow out there. Um, it's actually beautiful out. 40 degrees, I think tomorrow's supposed to be 42 or something. So we should probably see about diving into this some more and what we can actually do. I take it this, uh, yeah, this isn't gonna thaw out for a long time, but we're gonna move this whole hoop building back to like here to get more space up in the front. And then uh, I guess the opening will be on this pile. So that is my plan. I really gotta figure out what exactly I'm doing. Yeah, we might move it to the right just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna figure out if we're gonna put it on blocks or not. I'm kind of thinking blocks. I did think about putting railroad ties. I don't know. I think blocks would be better because then it's got something we can scrape against the side when the snow falls. So that was my thinking there. But we'll dive into it and see where we get to, right? What were you chasing? He was over there trying to herd some goats. We got things to do, bud. You herding goats? <laughs> yeah. This is what I was worried about those carriage bolts that I drove into the ground they're frozen in the ground I got a pry bar on it doesn't even want to budge I should have only drove one in I didn't think this out ahead of time I should have only drove one in enough and then hooked the chain to pull to get it back out so I'm not we might have to cut some some of them to get them out and then once it defrosts and warms up get the rest of it out maybe oh this is yeah i'm learning as i go i might have got it figured out yep so using the forks and the loader this thing's rolling backwards come over grab onto one and pry it up but that should wiggle out the rest of the way so i'm gonna go get the skid steer because you get much better you can see what you're doing with the forks and we'll just slide it along and pop them all out okay this might actually work i don't think you guys can see much yep gets a little sketchy but it does work works I'm gonna clean all this snow out and yeah
that one actually battled me quite a bit. But we are out of it. Yeah, these will not be used again. Uh, I'm surprised at how hard they're in the ground. Granted, yeah, stuff is frozen. This is where I'm at. I got one block placed. So, the plan will be to anchor onto the blocks. And what I just thought about was that back block, it, it can't go like that. Because that crossover piece. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Unless I get that crossover piece all the way to the middle and I leave a little bit out the back. I gotta measure these and exactly see how many I'm gonna need. I thought they were five, but maybe they're six foot. So the idea is I'll set all the blocks all the way down and then I'll pick up and I'll work my way down and I'll pick them all up and set them on this side. I thought about doing it on this side, but then when the snow falls off, it stays right there. That side, at least the snow has a good spot to slide down and be against the wall and then we can run by and quickly scrape it. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And yeah, my site prep work isn't the best because, well, everything's frozen and this was a kind of an afterthought to winter. But yeah, you can see I nothing's holding any of these in now. All of the legs have been pulled up so the structure just spread itself apart. But the idea is I'll set it on the blocks and then I'll work my way down from one end to the other. We'll just inch it down. So we'll have to do both sides. And once they're up, it should slide halfway decent across it. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. So I gotta go get some more blocks and just peck away at it. It's actually raining now. It's supposed to be nasty the next few days, so I'm not looking forward to it. Problem I got now, none of these blocks are the same. As you see, we got some elevation change. But one side's messed up, the other side's not. Yeah, back in the day when we used to get these, it depends what they were doing, but you'd find random stuff in them, like in the corners and stuff, they'd fill them with trash. So, but it's used up concrete, or leftover concrete when they come back. My brother said he's got a string in here. So we will see. He's got a demo saw. He's got his suction plates. Let me get you so you have some light in here. Yeah. This is a pave tool. So it's a suction for picking up blocks. So each one of those is an attachment. Well, let's see. Measure. Just gotta get one over there. Oh wait, here we are. He's got a string. All right, let's see this. Yeah, this is not going very good. As you see, everything's leaning now. But I've moved it back. Well, we're close. We're actually closer. A lot closer. So we started up there. So I gotta just slowly work my way around. I've tried every way to uh, make it not lean as much, but I just gotta move a little bit, move a little bit, and then work my way down. Yeah, I wish I knew <laughs> what I was really doing. I'm learning. Uh, so, the end goal, the loader's up because I didn't want it falling that way. And, uh, well, when we started, we were, it was right against it, so. Now I'm worried it's gonna go the other way, but we gotta just keep moving the legs over. So what I'm doing is moving it back so that there's more room in the front so that one, my brother can get in and out since this is his area. I came into his area. Um, and two, it will make it easier to get semis backed in here. In the spring, when we move that pile out of the way, we'll, we, when we use it, we'll uh, not put it so close. But, alrighty, I haven't been filming because it's a struggle. So I got all the blocks lined up. 
they're not perfectly they're not perfect nothing about these blocks are perfect to begin with that's just how they are they got some gaps I lined it up by sight so we're looking actually halfway decent once I get it down to where it is we'll lift these up and we'll set them down on the blocks on the outside is what I'm thinking and then once I do that we'll do the other side but yeah everything's sagging because there's nothing attached now so it's kind of a priority to get going here and uh, get it moved back so I figured I would give you guys an update because yeah this is doing this by yourself not advised so I might have bit a little too much off I should have just left it where it was and get got long, long rebar or something to run into the ground. Uh, I don't know. I think this will be better for me. I don't know. We, we're going to find out. Okay, I'm pretty well frustrated. I am definitely gaining now compared to where I was 10 minutes ago because 10 minutes ago it was almost on its side. And I was scrambling to try to get it back up. I got the loader. I should have put blocks to begin with and built over it. I really should have more help, but yeah. We are where we're at. Well, I'm at where I'm at. I guess the snow is melted in the bucket. Um, so it's holding it right now. Once you get down here, it's actually, it's straight. So what I'm doing, but back there is not straight, so let's not look at that. What I'm doing right now is actually getting the one side up. So once we get the one side up, I'm probably gonna uh, ratchet strap it down to the hooks on the blocks just to hold it for right now. And then I gotta get more blocks, which I think I can get enough blocks to do this side. And then we'll do the fronts when, when we get time or whatnot, or yeah. We'll do it done at some point here. But I got it lifted up, I was able to start putting it on that one just pops out but I'll get a ratchet strap and I'll go from up there down and I'll do another one and then we'll work our way down and then hopefully that straightens it out some right now they're crooked because well it's all up in the air yeah we got ratchet straps in here I did leave them out this actually might actually work for a little bit so that's pretty rugged in um yeah got all of these up on here so the plan will be to just anchor these through so i gotta go back that way the problem is the loader is actually resting against it oh maybe it's not so it gets a little squirrely right in between here so i'm gonna back the loader up and hold it there once it gets up and it's straight things are much better pulls it in I think it got too wide so it, it's got all wonky and that side's a little uneven but my plan will be get this side anchored get it squared and then we'll do the blocks over there and that way I can this will be square and we'll line up everything and then we'll be good I do like the blocks because it does give me two foot extra of roof space since the mac is uh pretty tall the 10 wheeler mac and we do have to get that the bed chains fixed because that all came undone so we got to go run through that so that would be good to back it in and actually be able to take all the chains out have have it all apart and work on it and then get it back together so
idea before I get too far along. So it's not actually, like once I get it up, it straightens things, makes everything good. It just got too far spread apart. Um, I'm gonna go get the last block that I got and we're gonna set it right here and I'm gonna ratchet strap this side just to make sure it doesn't fall back. So I'll move all this stuff out. There's one more block that's sitting by itself and then the rest are frozen to the ground. I did run the dozer and yeah, didn't want to budge any. But that's looking much better. So we'll go grab that and that will make me feel better about it. Got them all up, got that block there. Now that everything's up, no wiggle. So that's good. I'm gonna, well, yeah, I got everything I think, right? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. This was frustrating as anything for me. We're gonna make it through. We gotta get a few more blocks. We gotta figure out where we're gonna gra grab them from. Um, Cause a lot of them are frozen to the ground. It's supposed to rain and be 46 tomorrow. Maybe that will help us some, but yeah, one, one side done, we still gotta do the back across. Um, I'll put a row of blocks out and then that will support all that. We're never gonna use the back door anyways. We'll trim these trees up a little bit um, and then we'll call it good. So I appreciate you guys watching along. What a struggle. I appreciate all the comments. A lot of people told me what to put on a base, railroad ties, this or that. I was gonna put railroad ties, but I figured Railroad ties, I'd also have to put something in the ground. Currently, yeah, it's just strapped to the blocks. That one's a little crooked. Let's move that back over. Um, there we go. So currently they're just strapped to the blocks. Yeah, lots still to do, but gaining, and then this is gonna open up a lot of ability for me to keep working on projects so appreciate you guys watching along like and subscribe and being part of the channel hitting up the merch store you guys are awesome and i'll see you guys on the next one